We made it to Chicago. We need to see the smoke out. 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 Flight got to the airport around what? 4:45 this morning. Made it. Not too bad. Feeling good. How you feeling? Well, I'm feeling very hungry. I'm about to eat a JP Graziano sub. So probably one of the happiest moments of my entire life right now. Graziano. So yeah, what's the best sandwich in Chicago? Does a hot dog count? Made it to the beautiful hotel room. Gotta say, not too shabby. The view, not great. I think we're gonna go get on a boat. What do you think of the boat, Pat? It's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. It's traveling in style. Yeah. I had the smoker hooked up. I was at a Kroger parking lot, going in, getting water, just came back out. A guy in a van pulling a smoker behind him is driving by, and I'm like, oh, man, you know, it's nice. The guy stops and he's like, hey man, you a big deal? I'm like, oh, no, nah, I'm just taking this to, you know, Chicago. I'm gonna have somebody, somebody else is gonna use it. And he's like, all right, well, cause I got, I got 10 guns in that van. Like, I'll blow you away. I was like, hey man, look, I don't, I'm just gonna leave. And I got in the truck and left. What? <laughs> yes. Positive it's a transformer. <laughs> Positive. It's about to be like. <laughs> or you eBay user 2346. <laughs> Jeremy, why are we on a boat? Well, it's because you and I both use Wagyu beef tallow in our videos, Iberico Pork Lard. And the company actually invited us to be on this yacht right now to go on a boat tour. And we're about to go through this lock. And this is Matt Miniot, who is the president of the company. Yeah. Absolutely. And so he's invited us and been super gracious. They've been like the greatest host of all time. So thank you so much. Matt. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're a fifth generation family company and we've been doing tallow and lard for over 50 years. Okay, well you've been making briskets better for at least a couple of years. Well, <laughs> that's actually because of you. Okay. And so since then we've really tried to explore what else we can do and get into the barbecue community and understand the people out there and that's what we're doing today. Yeah, so you guys out there probably don't know, but you have had their food before. Some of the biggest restaurants that maybe don't advertise it because they want to keep it a secret, but they're using their products to make their food even better. Absolutely. If you've had the best fried chicken from a national restaurant chain that has been fried in beef tallow, I can almost guarantee that. <laughs> there we go. And what a view we've got. Beautiful Chicago. Boys, how was the boat trip? Uh, it was a yacht more than I expected, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Very nice, what do you got here? Skirt steak for some fajitas. Howdy! Good morning, Windy City. 
Windy City Smokeout, day one. Yesterday we flew in, had a very long day. Went out on the boat, had a few beers, went out for a very nice dinner. And now the fun begins. Got the skirt steaks cooking, got the turkey boobs cooking. I think it's time for a beer. Design. You aiming for uh, internal temp on these? No, sir. Just getting some collar on them. Two hours from service, how you feeling? Fine. Not great, not particularly great, <laughs> but fine. This year, there is a big walk-in right outside of our tent here at the Windy City Smokeout. And I'm thinking about putting a couch in here because it feels wonderful. There that time sir. of the day. <laughs> Little fudge caramels. That's good, you try it? I did, it was amazing. Nice. It was nice and soft. As yeah. opposed to like break your teeth out. They are super soft. I used to eat these when I was a little kid in Bowling because they're like super cheap to make. Really wasn't much available back then, so these are super popular. Always showing up with the snacks. Love it. I'm trying to, man. I always try to bring something that, you know, you guys don't really have access to or don't see too much. So, so you drove your personal pit up from Kentucky, right? I did, yes. How was that drive? Uh, not fun, especially when you get to Chicago and you're trying to make a lane change and it's an unbroken line of cars in that lane and nobody wants to let you in. Not a great time. Nice looking pit though. We got three dishes. We have the skirt steak fajita with the green salsa. We have the Cajun butter turkey breast with what was supposed to be pickled okra, but now it's actually going to be Cajun stewed okra. And then we have the beef fat comfy potatoes, the beef fat from wonderful South Chicago packing. We're going to throw a little rosemary and garlic in there too and finish it with some kosher salt. A little chaotic, just getting everything in the right place, getting our systems down. But I feel good about where we are right now, about an hour and a half before first people come in the door. <laughs> More snacks, baby. All day. <laughs> All day. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> what you doing, Bert? Grilling some lemons for the chicken to get the guest involvement with this. This is a collaborative effort with the guests who will then take it and squeeze it to their own. However they like it, yes. We are bringing out the chef out of this guest. We woke up this morning, thought they had no skills, and then they realized, like, hey, you know what? If I can squeeze a lemon, I can do anything. And this <laughs> lemon is giving people hope in a time of despair in the world. This lemon is going to bring world yeah. peace, and uh, we are here for it. So, God bless America. So excited about Windy City, dude. So happy to be here and represent Ricewood. Ricewood as a barbecue joint we got out in Michigan. We do Texas style barbecue over rice bowls, uh, Pacific Islander rice bowls. Super good. Hopefully to be serving here one day. Everyone go follow Ricewood Barbecue on Instagram. It's my buddy Gabe. We've been friends for years. So many years. Stop. Scotty, give me one piece of life advice. Ooh, that, you put me on the spot really fast. Uh, happy wife, happy life. There you go. Bye. Hi, David. Hey bud, how you doing? You look real cinematic right now. I have that effect. Ready for a big day, Clayton? Not yet, but I will be. Evan, when did the beers start flowing? Oh, you should have been here, man. All right, 10 o'clock? I think 10, no, it was before 10 o'clock. I remember these guys. Thank you for your sausage, it's very good. Anytime. <laughs> I couldn't fall asleep. Is that Leonard Vitello? <laughs> Boneless leg of lamb, delicious succulent meat from the lamb. Things are looking good. We're about to get ready and started at the Windy City. Oh, eat this. Don't mind if I do. Uh, oh yeah, love lamb. Mmm, tender. Oh yeah, that's the classic Voodoo Brown. Oh. So pretty. The Jarnera sausage. Jarnera in it or on it? In it. Wow. And on top. Hell yeah. And then a Jarnera aioli on top of that. Called a Jarnera Menage a Trois. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm -hmm. Wow. So are you just required to cook corn at this event or what? They won't let me cook it out of it. <laughs> Brisket. Corn. Love chicken. it. Chicken. Love chicken, chicken. White light. White light. <laughs> How's the day going? Great. Not hot and sweaty at all. Oh no, not at all. Never. 
Everything's got a great Oh yes. Just like every other festival. Yes, exactly. Lobster and corn fritters. You can lobster. Smoked shrimp, smoked lobster. Beautiful. A little celery. Very nice. Great onions. Smells amazing. Beautiful chili dogs. This uh, windy city's good. It could be a little more windy back here, but not too bad. Yeah, not windy enough for all this smoke. No, no, really not. <laughs> That is how a walking taco should look. That's right. In the bag and everything. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Watermelon margarita. It'll be fine. without trimming a brisket for Leonard. Yeah, right? <laughs> I got a snake in my boot. Day two of the Windy City Smokeout. It is Friday. Things are going well. It is nice and toasty. Sun is shining. Prep is in full swing. Feeling good. Feeling good. Let's go check in on the boys. How many skirt steaks have you trimmed before this trip versus how many have you trimmed during this trip? Fryer, maybe 10, 15 pounds. So far, I think this may 250 maybe, somewhere around there. That's how you become an expert. Yeah, <laughs> right. Day two, Windy City. Push, push, push. We're sore. We're tired, but spirits are still high. I'm gonna try real hard to uh, stay hydrated. You know, I started pretty early on the beers yesterday. I've already had a couple of waters, and uh, so I don't know. We're gonna keep it light today. Uh-oh. How many hogs are you cooking today? Two. I have in here, but I'll tell you this. There's shashua It's hot and sweaty, and I'm really hungry. Guys, he'll show me that proper angle. Slow and slow, that's what you gotta do. Get low, get right low to the meat, and do slow-mo, that's it. It's the same with barbecue, it's the same with filming. Hours going on. I like it. We're on stage right now with all the best pit masters in the country. Very busy day, sold a lot of food, met a lot of fans. Thank you for coming out and saying hello. Just saw Tim McGraw. Evan, how are you feeling after day two? Feeling pretty good. I think all of our food looked really good today. I felt even better about it today than I did yesterday. The food was phenomenal. Simply, simply impeccable dining throughout the land. Saturday of Windy City Smoker. <laughs> You gotta feel some sense of accomplishment for loading up a thousand gallons worth of meat. It's definitely the most I've ever loaded on a pit. And the thing is, we still uh, we won't even have enough room for all the stuff we gotta put in. Good morning, gentlemen. I see how it is. Almost died. It's getting a little warm out here today. Day three of the Windy City Smokeout is always the toughest one. That concert was very loud, went pretty late, went to a few bars afterwards. What's up, buddy? And now it is time to start the day off right. With a refreshing Diet Coke. Feeling great. Day three. Excited to be here. It's really good. Quality control. Some nice looking turkeys you got there. Two pans ready. 
Brad gets a lot of footage of me drinking. I'm not an alcoholic. It's very cool of you. They gave me one last. I got anything for that song. But I need a damn thing. One love. I wish you had some. I feel like we're doing a tribal. Yeah. 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 Tell the people about yeah. Malort. It's a tradition. It's it's delicious tradition that people need to try for the first time. I never have it anywhere other than Chicago. Shout out Malort. Sure, yeah, why not? Let's have a drink. Cheers, boys. Oh, good. Oh, I love the earthy undertone. Speaking of Chicago rituals. Day three, baby. It is day four of Windy City. Sunday. How are you feeling? Tired. I'm yeah. pretty tired. But it's, a, it's not bad. It's I definitely had, having a good time. There's definitely a hue going around of uh, exhaustion. How's day four feel? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's exactly the mindset of everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, my voice has been gone since Thursday. Yeah. Let me see your phone background. <laughs> I got it. Okay, it's clear. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's caramel. We're gonna cook some prime rib and an A5 Wagyu steak. Good day, a really good day. No one's watching. Oh, that's good. <laughs> is shot, my ears are shot, and there is still things going on. Let's check in. Some of these briskets. Therefore, our ramen collaboration tomorrow. We're doing a dry brisket ramen. I will see y'all tomorrow. We're at Barilla Korean Steakhouse. We've got Charles Wong helped us out all weekend, Umami Q, and the ramen lord himself, Mike Sadenover. Charles' meat prowess and my noodle prowess to make what's called a junk style soupless ramen. So it's as decadent and over the top as possible. <laughs> you guys want to try it? No way we can dial it in. That's the main event. That's why we're here, buddy. And that is it for the Windy City Smokeout 2022. Just had a beautiful pile of ramen. My voice is shot. I'm tired as hell. I'm ready to go back to Austin. But thanks to everyone who I hung out with this week. It was a blast. Can't wait till next year. Peace!